Hi, my name is Rosa with West Coast Sweat, and I'm so excited to talk to you about one of my most favorite postures, fixed firm pose, Supta Vajrasana. The reason I love this is because it's so amazing and healing and therapeutic for your knees. And if you're like me, maybe you've had a knee injury, maybe even surgery, or maybe you're working through an, a knee injury right now. So let's show you how you can gain the maximum benefits in this posture. First thing, when you, when you come to the posture, it's very important to sit knees and feet together. Sometimes we skip to opening our feet, but sitting knees and feet together allows your knee ligaments to stretch and it prepares you for the rest of what you're gonna do. So we always say sit down, knees and feet together first. And then comes separating your feet, like you'll see Lily do, separating your feet so that your hips touch your heels and your heels touch your hips. Now, ideally, you want to keep your knees together, but it's totally okay to open your knees as wide as you need to. Again, that's why this series is so powerful wherever you are as you continue building the healing and the range of motion. So if you're like me with a knee injury in the past or wherever you are, a surgery, and you're still building the healing, uh, working through the range of motion. And obviously this may not be where you're at to sit down knees and feet together. You can completely start here. This is a very strong way to continue doing the posture. You can keep the body weight augmented on your hands and come down until that point is that you can comfortably sit down and then you can stay here and eventually you can make it to where you can come back and I can join Lily where she is with my hands on my feet and potentially even the knees closer together. That's where they'll end up. That's the goal. So from this part in the posture with your hands on your feet, this is what's so key about this. To gain the maximum benefits, you wanna keep your hands on your feet as you lower down and as you come up. So as Lily is gonna lower down, she's gonna come down on her right elbow, then her left elbow. She's in a position now to relax her whole upper body on the floor. Arms over your head, pull your elbows down, tuck your chin to your chest, lift your chest and stomach up. Now, we're gonna stay here and wherever you are, this is where we'll work on bringing the knees back together. But what is so incredibly powerful are the medical benefits you get from lifting your chest and stomach up. And it plus, it just feels amazing in the body, right? Um, notice that next time you take the posture. But as you exit the posture, you're gonna place your hands on your feet and come up with the help of your elbows. Beautiful, now turn around and lay down on your back. And this is so key to turn around right away. Why? Because you've just done one of the most amazing tourniquet effect postures. So now that you've created the tourniquet, right? By sitting there, knees and feet together, getting into the posture, you're creating extension now. So as soon as you turn around, you have high speed blood that's really going powerfully through your hips, through your ankles, through your knees, and really delivering all of that oxygen via your bloodstream that's gonna be so yummy and healthy for your body. So I can't wait to hear what you think about this posture and especially hear your stories about how it's helped improve the healing in your knees and the range of motion. So we'll see you next time on your mat.